right guys well after a week or more of nothing happening we're finally starting to uh, have some things happen <laughs> exciting things are happening maybe not exciting to you but exciting to me uh chicken manure chicken manure is very exciting to me um <laughs> I uh, just got a call from the guy that has the uh, broiler houses. Uh, the end of next week, uh, we got 50 tons on the way. Um, so 50 tons with the possibility of another 50 uh, after that. Uh, problem, ground's not frozen, mud. Uh, it's just a mess here. We are not going to get a tractor trailer up uh, to where we dumped it last time. There is no way, I can't hardly get up there with my four wheel drive pickup. The road is mud and it's uh, so soft. A tractor trailer is going to uh, spin out and get stuck. I can just see it. It's not even worth attempting. So I had to call in a <laughs> trucking company with uh, triaxle. So the deal is going to be, and I'm hoping by the end of next week, uh, things are more frozen. It does look like it's supposed to be colder the end of next week. So we're going to be getting three. I, he said the 50 tons will uh, make it on three triaxles. Uh, it's the volume problem. It's not a weight problem. Uh, dried chicken manure is not very heavy. And volume wise to get 50 tons, he said it's uh, like a triaxle haul 22 tons or 23 tons legal somewhere in there. And uh, volume wise, uh, that's going to be spread over to get 50 tons. It's going to be spread over three trucks. So what my, my goal is, if it's still too wet, they can't get up there. What I'm going to have them do is come up the road here. The first option is to have them pull up and back in over this stone. I know this looks muddy, but it's deceiving. This here under this little bit of surface mud is heavy duty like a shale, uh, we call it breaker rock uh, from the coal industry. That's all what this is all the way back to see where there's like a little hump that drops off. I think we're gonna end up piling it right here. I think if he can, this is pretty solid. There is a little topsoil. It's a little smeary here on the surface, but if he can get the truck back, and I hope he can, I'll have to have the 986 on standby. If he can get back to about here, um, we should be able to dump the three loads here and then for loading um, I'm not gonna have all I'm sure the grass will be tore up a bit, but uh, It doesn't take long with chicken manure the grass will be back. So uh, I don't want to load in the field on account of compaction. So um, We'll have to figure this out should have enough room here and uh, Finally getting somewhere getting some stuff here that I need and if the plan B is if the ground is frozen I'm gonna have them haul it up on top of the hill with the triaxles and dump it in the exact same spot But we're gonna need a pretty hard frost to make that happen. So I don't know. We'll have to see Plan C if they're not willing to drive through there if it's too wet He'll have to pull up and we'll have to have a huge pile right there. That'll be the welcoming pile uh, Anybody that comes back to see me. There'll be a giant pile of crap <laughs> So that's that's the only other option I have until uh, we can get it loaded and spread. So uh, it's exciting. I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> like I say, uh, some guys might not understand my excitement, but on a farm that hasn't had any manure since the 80s, 90s, um, it feels good to be able to get that kind of nutrients put down at an affordable price. So I will demonstrate my excitement here on the whiteboard. 30% uh, liquid nitrogen. Uh, that I put on the cornfields here uh, comes to $52 an acre for me. Um, now that's uh, delivered. It doesn't include my time or fuel spreading it, uh, but the delivered price uh, for the corn, um, where I put it on the cornfields, uh, this doesn't include the hay acres, it's just the cornfields, it's $52 an acre. The manure, it comes out to $18 an acre and that is delivered. So humongous price difference there um, as far as a form of nitrogen. Now I do not know what the nitrogen content is in the manure. Uh, it's not nothing I have tested. I do have somewhere, I think it was in the manure management plan, the uh, producer, the, manure, the chicken producer, uh, their manure is tested, I think, uh, for the manure management. I could easily look it up, I just didn't yet. But uh, it's still a valuable form of nitrogen at $18 uh, an acre delivered. Now again, that doesn't include my time uh, spreading or diesel fuel but uh, thank goodness fuel prices came down and thank goodness I uh, just bought fuel so uh, 
Anyway, so you see my excitement there. And I was on the ball this uh, summer. I went and bought all the herbicide I need for next year, for 2019. And I have it all here in a nice heated location, and it's all here. My goal was to have everything here for this spring, so that way um, I don't need to wait on... <laughs> after waiting for the lime people and waiting for nitrogen and all that kind of stuff um, I wanted to be ready I didn't want to have to make any road trips when the weather is nice uh, yes I know I'm a small-scale farmer and uh, I'm not trying to act like I'm covering a hundred thousand acres here and I need to be on the ball but I'm on the ball because of time and uh, my time with another job and family and uh, other things going on besides the farm and the weather and all that kind of stuff um, all my herbicides here I can do my pre-emerge anytime now one thing I'm going to that I need to pick up is uh, this is that end zone max nitrogen stabilizer my neighbor had given me some to try as a test trial um, I think this stuff works um, about uh, mid-July before the weather really went south on us the corn looked absolutely amazing here it was dark green it was the darkest shade of green I have seen in my corn uh, <laughs> compared to last year or even when I was used to farm over at dad's um, this says the stabilizer this helps keep the nitrogen in the ammonium form I believe and it helps to reduce uh, leaching and uh, evaporation that kind of stuff um, this is for this this is an empty jug but this jug will run you $200 uh, my neighbor's telling me he puts a quart and a half in 500 gallons so I'm not sure I didn't check the, the numbers I did what he told me uh, that's going to run you, if I did the math right, it's only going to be a couple dollars extra per acre. I've got to get some more of this stuff and got to make a run here within the next week so it's here. So, um, a couple things. Uh, the chicken manure is going to go on all the corn ground. Hopefully I have enough to do all the corn ground. Um, two ton is what I'm legally allowed to put on. We're going to put two ton on everywhere. I don't know how I'm going to measure that. and I don't know how they expect you to measure it, but at least it's a guide. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to put uh, some nitrogen in with the pre-emerge with this. Um, I was reading a lot of stuff online with uh, different university studies and stuff uh, saying that uh, the nitrogen stabilizer does not help you uh, in a top dress application. Now, I don't know. I think it was the University of Iowa study or something. I looked it up and was reading it. Uh, they said it's more for guys using it in the spring as a burn down. Um, so I don't know. Either way, we're going to put some nitrogen down as a burn down on top of everything else and uh, have some of this in to keep it from uh, going down or up. Want to keep it in the middle. <laughs> so, a little bit of thoughts on nitrogen today. All right, I'm going to take my car over to my buddies. It needs uh, to get diagnosed. But anyway, uh, in addition to that $18 an acre with the manure, you're getting more than just the uh, nitrogen. You're getting micronutrients and a whole host of other <laughs> valuable soil improving <laughs> Uh, materials so um, you just can't beat that price um, for a nutrient fertilizer for the farm uh, so uh, still no lime uh, you guys are probably so sick of me hearing about talking about lime uh, lime is one of the problems here on the farm uh, not just the fields and the soil pH of course it's muddy uh, but uh, Getting it here is the, <laughs> for me, has been 90% of the battle. Uh, I did uh, talk to a guy about, uh, oh, that uh, water treatment lime. I don't know if there's any value in that. If any of you guys know, let me know. All right, it's a little bit later in the day. I am back. My car is now repaired. So that's great. Uh, glad to get that taken care of. Uh, basically, all I can tell you is something was loose and now it's tight. So it does feel much better, safer vehicle now. Uh, so I'm going to be working on some vehicles here shortly. Um, I got to do an oil change in that, which isn't very exciting. I got to do an oil change in my pickup, which isn't very exciting. Uh, what else? I need tires for the car and my pickup is uh, leaking engine oil pretty good now. But anyway, guys, to finish off the end of this video. So like I say, we're going to be getting some, uh, some manure here uh you guys have seen the numbers why it's so valuable to me and i'm glad to be getting it put down and uh as tough of a year that 2018 was all i can do is try again for 2019 and uh, see how things go so <laughs> we're uh, gonna do it again so all right guys i'll see you later